It's the fourth annual Sunburn Classic here at the Pibus Market and on Worthen Street in downtown Wenatchee. And, well, the Sunburn Classic living up to its reputation with sunburn-type weather this weekend, but smiles all around. I had a chance to watch some of the games as well as talk to some of the participants from far and near. Awesome. Yeah? Why? Because we're just trailing through all the teams. Yeah? Yeah. Take a charge this weekend? Yeah. Yeah? So you're undefeated so far? Yes. 3-0. Yeah. Oh. Dogs on three. One, two, three. Dogs! Now, another team I caught up with was a bunch of kids wearing an O on their chest like they were from Oregon for the Oregon Ducks. But I learned that, no, they're not from too far away. I'm Luke. I'm Gray. Jet. Jose. Tice. Christopher. Aaron. Aaron. Caden. Caden. Okay. So how have you guys done so far? Uh, so far we are 2-0. and 2-0. Oh. Oh. How about the younger guys? How are you guys doing? 1-1. One 1-1. One. One one. Okay. So what's the O? Oh, that, that's like Oregon Ducks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just the cool shirts that we decided to Oh, cool shirts. Okay, where are you guys from? Eastmont. Eastmont, okay. So, are you having fun at the Sunburn Classic? Yes, we are. Yeah? yeah? What's your favorite part so far? Um, playing three on three. Playing three on three, of course. Okay, look out, guys. You guys are going to get cut off here. All right, we got to get let, let you guys play basketball. So, do you have a cheer or something like that for your team? Um, no? Yeah. How about uh, one, two, three team? Okay, everybody in? Yeah. Okay, ready? Three on uh, team on three. One, two, three, team. team! There we go. It's the Sunburn Classic here in Wenatchee. Tournament organizer J.D. Taylor of Elite Hoop Effects have done a remarkable job with he and his crew to get the tournament ready to go, to get the hoop set up, to get the streets ready to go. I had a chance to talk with him, and even though he was exhausted, still had a big smile on his face. J.D., how are you? I'm tired. <laughs> having a good time, though. I'm hot. I'm sunburnt. Yes. Uh -huh. But I'm having a blast just watching all this go down. It's, it's worth every penny, every second. You know, every amount of energy and creative ideas that we have. Well, let's talk about this being here at Pibus. I know you guys have done other three-on-threes here uh, around Apple Blossom time. Uh, I think this is the place you would need to be. Yes, this is definitely the place. You know, we've been um, um, building this for, uh, for three years, and then we're in our fourth year. Um, three-on-threes are meant to be on the streets. It's for our city. You know, and so we built it where we needed to build it, and, and now um, look what it's doing. I mean, Pibus Market's having a blast, and even the Farmer's Market, those guys are probably running out of everything. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the thing. It's a spectacle for everybody involved, and a central location like this, it's perfect. Tell me about the amount of teams. I know you had goals and estimations. How did you turn out for this year for the tournament? You know, we, uh, we matched last year's number okay. um, to a T. Um, <clears throat> we were looking for, you know, 125 to 150 teams, but reality is um, how well would the tournament run? Um, we would probably run into some problems being new to the street, so it was manageable for us. So, you know, we, the large numbers, we get that when we, when we get the, the foundational pieces put in and what it's like, and um, we're really happy with our turnout. So between the Farmer's Market, Pibus Market, and the three-on-three -three Sunburn Classic happening here on Worthen Street in Wenatchee, this was definitely the place to be this weekend. With the Sunburn Classic in downtown Wenatchee, I'm Eric Granstrom on the NCW Life Channel.